Easter Sunday, March 27th, 2016, is the last day of operations for Edgemont Country Club. Ridgewood Real Estate Partners, a company that specializes in residential and mixed-use development, purchased the property. Edgemont's membership is making the most of its now borrowed time, reflecting on 52 years worth of club memories. It's like a sanctuary here. We're surrounded by the state park. Uh, we have no houses except for the one they let me live on in the front of the property. And everyone's welcome. Uh, the owners invited everyone to come play here. And you could play Edgemont every day. You didn't get tired of it. You know, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the kind of golf course that was too hard. We had a men's group that was seniors that welcomed me, and I'd learned to play golf. I'm not very good, but I still learned to play through that men's group. It's been very good. One of the things that was particularly um, uh, enjoyable about the membership was their laid-back, easygoing, comfortable kind of an uh, attitude and atmosphere. There's not a whole lot of uptight and uppity and clicky kind of things going on. Everybody's inclusive. They're all friendly. They're easygoing, easy to get along with. So that was great. It fits my personality because I goof around a lot. Nick Calabrese developed his golf game at Edgemont and will miss a daily dose of learning and laughs on the grounds. Beginning golf here was absolutely perfect. I mean, the course is perfect for the game I played when I was younger, and it's actually fitted me to this day. So it's been a really good experience. It was perfect for me the whole way. As a farewell to its faithful, Edgemont will present a three-man scramble event on Saturday, March 26th. There are people coming out of the woodwork that we haven't seen in, in years, if not decades, that want to get one last hurrah before, before they uh, close the doors here. I'm trying not to think about it. I'm trying to take it like it's something, some miracle, something to hit the Powerball and keep the golf club here, or you know, just never give up to the last second. I never gave up at anything, so I still hope something changes. Edgemont Country Club will become a memory, one that's fond and special to those who knew it. Reporting from Edgemont, Tony Regina, Gap TV.